So I was just wa recently watching a video on YouTube and it was about a girl talking about all these different questions that she gets asked as a type 1 diabetic and I kind of liked what she was saying. Um, even though my thoughts were a little bit different than hers, um, we all deal with diabetes in our own special little ways. So anyways, what, um, one of the questions that she was asked was which type of diabetes do you have if you even get asked that? A lot of people ask me, don't you, you know, you're a type 1 diabetic, what's the difference between a type 1 and a type 2? Well, I'm type 1. Um, I was diagnosed when I was 9 years old, and it's not going away. I can, I can have sugar, um, and I try to live a normal life, but everything always happens for a reason, I guess. Um, so is it the worst one? Um, well, it depends on what you consider worse. I give myself insulin and I'm constantly checking it, whereas a lot of other people, you know, get lucky and they just have to take a pill or something. So that's type two. I would consider, I would say that I have the worst one. Um, it's not going away. So there's nothing that I can do to change that. And no, I'm not going to get any better. Now, another question that I've been asked is if I stab myself with needles. I personally am on an insulin pump, um, so I haven't taken a shot of insulin in like a good six months. Um, the only time that I ever do have to do that is because my insulin pump falls off. If I'm out and I'm not home and I can't change my pump, then that's when I have to give myself a shot. Obviously, that only fixes it temporarily, um, and I have to continuously give myself shots in order to um, catch up with the insulin that I've been missing, but I love my pump, and I usually don't knock it off, or I usually don't have problems with it, so um, yeah, I mean, I don't give myself shots anymore, but when I was, I was doing about four to five shots a day of Novolog and Novolin insulin. One thing that really, really annoys me is when people say, oh, you're diabetic, you're not allowed to have sugar. Well, yes, I'm diabetic. Yes, I shouldn't eat sugar. But we're all human. We all like insul or like to eat sugar. Um, we have a sweet tooth. We can have a cookie. Um, I tend to usually try and stay away from it. I mean, last night my boyfriend had cookies and I wanted one and I grabbed one. And then I just gave myself a little bit more insulin later on before I went to bed and I was fine. Um, it's not going to kill me, but the more insulin that I put into my body, the fatter I become. And, you know, insulin is not, it's, it's what makes me, it's what helps me survive, but you don't want to overdo it either. Um, personally, I've, I was nine when I was diagnosed. So I had all the sweets that I wanted up until I was nine years old. But diabetes was not caused because I ate too much sugar. Um, so yeah. I hate it when people say that my grandmother had diabetes and she died because of it. Well, diabetes doesn't necessarily make you die, and it's not a death sentence when you get it, as long as you learn how to treat it. Now, my uncle was a type 2 diabetic, and at the time of his diagnosis, he, was taking it, or he wasn't taking insulin, he was just taking pills, but he had to watch his diet a lot more than I ever did, um, because I got lucky and I was able to have insulin. Well, his got so bad that he had to quit his job and he had to start taking insulin and he needed to, you know, control his blood sugars better, which ended up um, not being the greatest thing ever. But um, he died because his blood sugar was over 300, probably 400 for several days and he got into a coma and he ended up passing away later on from that. Um, but me and him were always very close. 
he always loved eating my sugar-free cookies. And, I mean, things, it, stuff happens. I mean, if you don't control it, then that's when you're going to have the problems. Now, me, because of that, um, I've grown up. I've become a lot more sociable. I let everybody know that I am diabetic. I mean, I have it tattooed on my hand or on my arm so that everybody knows exactly what's going on in my life. And, I mean, yeah, there's always going to be an issue. There's always going to be something that, you know, comes up and, you know, I'm by myself and nobody knows that I'm diabetic. Well, stuff happens. I got to control myself and keep myself as best as I can. And, I mean, there's not really that much more I can do but to just keep saying that I'm going to fix it and that it's going to be okay. And that because of that and because I'm staying on top of myself and checking my blood sugar as many times a day as I need to and knowing where my sugars are and what is good for me and what is, you know, what makes me feel sick, what makes my hands shake, um, everything adds up to what it adds up to. You put the effort in, you'll be fine. And the last question was, did I get died? Knows with diabetes or type 1 diabetes because I eat too much sugar. Well, I get asked that question a lot, and no, that's not what happened. Um, people say that you can get it from family members, you know, passing it down your heritage line. In my case, uh, that wasn't the problem either. Uh, I have no family with type 1 diabetes, no close family with type 2 diabetes. And my doctors at the time blamed it on stress. Now, what kind of stress can a nine-year-old go through? Well, at the time of my diagnosis, my parents were in the middle of a divorce. I was nine. I had a seven-year-old sister, a six-year-old sister, and a about six-month-old brother. And because my parents would argue and, you know, whatever, I was oldest. I was taking control of a situation and doing what I thought as a nine-year-old thought was important. I would go downstairs and keep my sisters entertained and try to figure stuff out with my parents. And they say that that kind of stress is what caused me to have diabetes. Well, I guess it's possible. It's, there's no proven fact of that, but, you know, I've dealt with it and they wouldn't release me from the hospital until both of my parents gave me a shot of insulin which that was the first and last time they ever did that um and I've been taking care of myself as best as I could since I was nine so that's my story I mean if you have any thoughts or comments go ahead and comment on down, down below all right um so yeah I mean life happens Stuff happens, it is what it is, and it's diabetes, so learn to live with it because it's not going anywhere.